Future, April, by Emily Dickinson. An altered look about the hills, a Tyrian light the village fills, a wider sunrise in the dawn, a deeper twilight on the lawn, a print of a vermilion foot, a purple finger on the slope, a flippant fly upon the pane, a spider at his trade again, an added strut in Chanticleer, a flower expected everywhere. In a Spring Grove by William Allingham Here the white rayed anemone is born, wood sorrel and the varnished buttercup, and primrose in its purfled green swathed up, pallid and sweet round every budding thorn, grey ash and beech with rusty leaves outworn. Here too the darting linnet hath her nest, in the blue lustred holly never shorn, whose partner cheers her little brooding breast, piping from some near bough, O oh, simple song. O oh, cistern deep of that harmonious rillet, and these fair juicy stems that climb and throng the vernal world, and unexhausted seas of flowing life, and soul that asks to fill it, each and all of these, and more, and more than these. Wood Anemone by John Clare The wood anemone through dead oak leaves, and in the thickest woods, now blooms anew, and where the green briar and the bramble weaves, thick clumps of green, anemones thicker grew, and weeping flowers in thousands pearled in dew, people the woods and brakes, hid hollows there, white, yellow and purple hued, the wide wood through. What pretty drooping weeping flowers they are, the clipped frilled leaves, the slender stalk they bear, on which the drooping flower hangs, weeping dew. How beautiful through April time and May the woods look, filled with wild anemone, and every little spinny now looks gay with flowers mid brushwood and the huge oak tree. An excerpt from The Lesser Celandine by William Wordsworth There is a flower, the lesser celandine, that shrinks like many more from cold and rain, and the first moment that the sun may shine, bright as the sun himself, tis out again. When hailstones have been falling, swarm on swarm, or blasts the green field and the trees distressed, oft have I seen it muffled up from harm, in close self-shelter like a thing at rest. The Violet by Jane Taylor Down in a green and shady bed, a modest violet grew. Its stalk was bent, it hung its head, as if to hide from view. And yet it was a lovely flower, its colours bright and fair. It might have graced a rosy bower instead of hiding there. Yet there it was content to bloom, in modest tints arrayed, and there diffused its sweet perfume within the silent shade. Then let me to the valley go, this pretty flower to see, that I may also learn to grow in sweet humility. The Cowslips by John Clare The dancing cowslips come in pleasant hours, though seldom sung, they're everybody's flowers. They hurry from the world and leave the cold, and all the meadows turn from green to gold. The shepherd finds them where he went to play, and wears a nosegay in his mouth all day. The maiden finds them in the pleasant grove, and puts them in her bosom with her love. She loves the lady smocks, and just beyond the water blobs close to the meadow pond. I've often gone about where blackthorns stood, and got the bedlam cowslips in the wood, then found the blackbird's nest and noisy jay, and up and through the cowslips all away. Two Daffodils by Robert Herrick Fair daffodils, we weep to see you haste away so soon. As yet, the early rising sun has not attained his noon. 
Stay, stay until the hasting day has run but to the even song, and, having prayed together, we will go with you along. We have short time to stay as you, we have as short a spring, as quick a growth to meet decay as you or anything. We die as your hours do and dry away, like to the summer's rain, or as the pearls of morning's dew, ne'er to be found again. <laughs>